record or anything today. What's up, guys? We're in Charlotte. Welcome to the channel. We're sucking. We haven't gotten on track yet, but it is extremely wet. <laughs> hey, guys, it's been, a, it's been a weird day. We're here trying to get stuff skilled out. Dylan's helping us. I put a new seat in the chassis for the 20th time. Uh, got the chassis uh, all straightened out. Yeah, I'm going to throw on the scale real quick. Get it going. Uh, I'll put the camera on for the car. Hey, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, catch you guys on track. I was going to let Paul go in front of me, but he's taking too long. He's talking to Gary. Him and that's a weird, weird bro match. So this is the second practice of the day. I sat out the first practice due to uh, being so wet. Um, and this is the first time I show up to a practice day and bite the bullet and put brand new tires on. Uh, I put the seat in. Uh, really, really well-made seat uh, from Nick. It It's carbon fiber, really stiff. The only thing I was worried is right off the bat is the track was green and the cart felt really tight. Um, I had put in my regular setup that I run everywhere and the cart's usually really, really free. But with this seat, it just felt the cart felt really tight. So I was making some changes, working on it, and I haven't had a good track record at Charlotte at all, guys. Um, if you look back to 2021, um, I was the last running cart, 2022 last running cart. So zero good track record uh but the mgm this is it's just that's this is what the mgm is made for um it's made for these tracks it's really made for every damn track um i haven't changed this up much i know i mess with it um but i always go back to the grand setup i call it i just, it's just my setup that i have for the car it just works really well um i was running it right off the bat cart felt uh, just a little snug in the rear uh i was playing with gearing i went out really really low um i'll let you guys know the gearing i was on a three four six uh starting out the weekend and i ran that gearing for most of the day until the final uh practice and uh for qualifying i decided to change it up but for practice um basically on three four six the whole time i was running down casey from uh, stall racing go check out their channel um he was struggling at the beginning but it was such a right now it's such a tire deficit from everybody because I, I think i was probably the only one on new tires um and i, I still wasn't really that fast also this session i uh i felt kind of chatter out of the low section low speed section and i put on a new motor mount uh, from rev and uh rev products and i i don't think i tightened down correctly because it just Every time we went to, well, I mean the slow section, it's really just the two left-handers and that one right-hand hairpin. So coming out of the second left-hander, the cart would chatter. It would like, you know, felt like the, the clutch was like locking up, letting it locking up. But it wasn't that. It was that I left the chain loose. So, you know, that was on me. Uh, but P10 for first practice, not too bad. I'm excited to see uh, if I can continue this, uh, this streak on. All right, for practice number three, didn't touch the cart. I just want to see with the cart, with the uh, the track rubbering up, um, if it would make a difference. If the cart would feel any different, um, I just been trying out a new clutch. Uh, I went with the Max Torx clutch, the Dragon Skin clutch. So I was running that one now. Um, I actually like the clutch. I'm kind of worried about you know going starting out it, it burning up, but really uh, the way Joe had it set up uh, felt great all weekend. Didn't have any issues at all. Um, all I did was basically just wipe it once or twice when I decided to change the front driver. Uh, other than that, pretty much maintenance free and then just be careful on the starts. But uh, I felt a lot better and also play with clutch engagement. I, I never play with clutch engagement. I like my engage engagement to be really, really low. But uh, this weekend I played with it better and just felt better out of the corners. Uh, cart was moving really well. Uh, didn't do a gear change or anything. Uh, basically, you know, just driving the cart. Um, the cart felt still snug in the back. It just didn't feel like, you know, free free. It felt good. Don't get me wrong, but in the high speed corners, it just felt snug. Um, just don't know. I, it was a weird feeling. It's something that I'm not used to. Uh, usually, I feel the cart like load on the outside tire and unload and load and felt really tight. But this time, it just did not. It, did, it wasn't doing it. The cart just felt like I was just staying flat everywhere, which is was a weird feeling for me. But it was quick. Um, it was still quick to the double lefts, the double right. 
it's just felt flat in the high speed section and this track is all about high speed uh, i get a really good run out of this corner um get us a, a nice little toe and then it was all about you know keeping momentum up uh gearing felt great at the very end i was like barely tapping the limiter um but fearing i mean gearing didn't feel bad i just like to be on the limiter harder uh, i know people like to be off the limiter but i like to stay on the limiter hard uh, that's just the way i usually gear things but uh, if you have the cart working you can always drop a couple teeth uh, i had a really good run here and then i just overcooked the corner and took out the 499 uh, i apologize right after it uh, that was all on me uh, i went in on the inside and i i just i just overcooked it and used him as a turning point so apologized uh did not mean to do that especially in practice um i'm not usually in the mix at all during practice i usually like to stay out really far back uh the one sunny lets me by here um but i usually like to stay in the far back because i don't like to tear anything up in practice but i knew i had to go out there and mix it up and uh you know see what the cart would do in the draft and see what what kind of speed i had but i really didn't draft with anybody i just you know roll up on them and then carry a good corner carry good speed and just pass them and i just kept doing that uh, the whole time so for the following practice uh casey wanted to follow me out and i did my first gear change of the weekend uh i went from a 346 to a 353 so that was a big change for this practice for casey's right behind me uh it's the first actual practice that i have someone that would give me a little bump uh coming out of some corners or maybe down the straightaway uh, I stacked on some teeth. Uh, cart felt, I mean, a lot better. I was on the limiter a lot harder, so I felt better. Um, lap time stayed the same, though. And I really wasn't changing the chassis at all. I hadn't touched the chassis at all because I just want to see what the chassis would do with the more grip it got. Like, it was laying down. So I wasn't, like, trying to make it super free or free. I was just driving the cart. I was just making sure I'm trying to hit my marks and drive the car. And you can see the front end of the car is not happening. I would turn in. It would push. I would have to correct and then turn in again. So I was still snug in the rear, which was just not super happy. But, I mean, I would get a good run out of this last turn and then just suck up and then be able to make most, most of my passes uh, going down the hill after pit exit and then going to his left hand. I, I was able to make a good run. And then I, I noticed that I was hitting the limiter right around, you know, earlier now than most people. And I knew I was somewhere close to the gear um, that I thought I should have been on. Um, but, you know, it was still a guessing game. Uh, I would follow different carts around, see if I could carry their line. Uh, this is Jeremy. Uh, I raced with him all over the place. Uh, he made the trip up. Uh, he was quick in the, uh, in the, in the, in the fast section. He would, his cart would really be quick and move. And then here on the double lefts, uh, the cart was just working so well. Uh, same thing coming out of the hairpin. I would just like spring off the hairpin. Um, so everything in that aspect was really working really well. Um, and then I would set up these corners um, right behind the 65. The 65 gets a really good run in the section, but then blows this right-hander. I don't think he can get the cart turned around. Um, and then it's all about setting up the corner. It's all about flowy track. You make one mistake here in the flow cart and the flowy area, uh, or if the cart's not working good, I mean, you'll see them walk five, six, seven cart links out. It is insane about how much momentum this track is all about. And I struggle at these tracks. This is my Achilles heel. I don't do well in momentum tracks. I do a lot better in technical tracks, but um super happy with the day uh p16 the whole field's just nut the butt like it's so damn tight all right guys practice has not been going that great it's a really close field like 48 8 is good there's some monsters out there i'm not gonna say who there's a couple of monsters out there we i'm not gonna be able to catch i might i, I might i don't know i don't know i always say that uh, we're all doing pretty well, but I just want to say, uh, Mikey here, we've been talking about Matt, and he wants to say 6,070, 6070, and he was telling me 6,700, and he thought that was the same number, so math isn't great.
Also, I put Matt and him on the same setup, made him change the setup back, <laughs> and he goes, well, I think Matt and I might be on the, uh, close to the same setup. I say, I just said that. Okay, yeah, yeah, I think we're close to the same setup. Kick and drive, though. And Greg, or uh, Lucas, Lucas here we have not been paying attention to, literally, and he's been fast all day in a stacked field. Um, I saw his last practice session, looking at times, and I was highly impressed. This kid is on a tear. He hasn't been carding that long. Since running SSKC, this kid has been on fire, all right? Congrats, hey. Lawson Speed Shop. Gallardo chassis, but it's all right here. Not the seat, not tiller, but I'm just saying, all the driver. It's, he's been killing it, hell yeah. All right, for the final practice, I decided to go back, uh, start out in the back with uh, my CR CRG buddies in Camp Chaos. Um, I made, made my first uh, you know, chassis adjustments to see what the cart would do, and basically went out and sent it. Um, it, I mean, it was great. It was a good session. Uh, cart felt better. Um, you know, if air, the whole day felt good. It wasn't like it felt bad, but you know, you go into a section. I mean, you're flat. You're trying to set up for the for the right to left. Um, you're trying to get as far as over as you can on this left hander, and then you want to miss this little patch. Cause if I kept hitting that patch, the cart would snap loose. So trying to stay off that patch, uh, get a good run out. Um, carry the momentum down the hill up the hill then towards down the hill and this double left i'll keep this double left tight like i would go through the double lefts real tight but it's all about momentum um like you see here right left and it's again it's all about keeping this momentum keeping the flow up um it's just you know something that i'm not good at um and then jd wants to go off-roading for some reason i don't know he's he's a wild man i swear to god uh there are things that you know he makes me worry but definitely had a good run um and then the tight section is what i'm good at i kept these double left real tight and then the cart would just roll through them and then same thing with the hairpin the cart would just roll right through it so it the cart was just working well like i i didn't have much to complain about um other than being snug all day in the rear and i know that the rubber was gonna get thrown down the next day i was worried i was trying to figure out how am i gonna free her up um because i usually suck in practice when there's no track on the ground i mean no rubber on the ground i suck all right and then when the rubber comes in then i'm fast this was the opposite i felt snug with no rubber so i was really freaking out so changes were going to come the next day and then this part it was insane i think they should have thrown a red flag but i don't know how this dog got on track uh don't know how but to be honest they should have red flagged it um i mean you guys know how much of an animal lover i am if i would have if something would happen to that dog i probably would have freaked out and packed it up for the rest of the weekend uh <laughs> but uh they they were able to like contain the dog and hold him until the final until the final session uh they threw the checker flag early i think uh which was a good call um i would have red flagged it but uh you see jd in here in front of me um, his cart looked a little snug. You'll see how snug it is. Um, the rear is just driving the front, and the hairpin is insane. Um, you see there, the, the cart, he was using the brakes to snap the cart free. And then right here in this right-hand hairpin, um, he was having a way bigger push issue than I did. Um, and then you see my buddy over there, the dog. But P14 for the final practice, overall a good day. Couldn't ask for more. This is the best I have ran at Charlotte by far. <laughs> All right, there's some serious shit going on here. Ryan is uh, switching chassis. He's going from CRG to CRG. <laughs> Practice in the books, it was a really good day. All I care about is I passed Joe in the end. All I did was pass Joe in the end, so I don't give a shit. And uh, I let JD pass me because I felt bad. So, really that's how the day went. Um, no, nah, these guys were all quick. The the field, the field in Masters is so tight. P5 ran 48.8. And P5 
319 ran 49th flat. That's how tight the field is. So, um, we did a couple more changes to my car, and I will change it all up in the morning because I came up with a crazy idea that I'm going to try. That will be for qualifying. If not, I go to the good old set that always works and hope for the best from there. So, thanks for watching, guys. Catch you guys on the next one.